Right, said Fred, both of us together, one each end and steady as we go. Tried to shift it, couldn't even lift it, we was getting nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea, and right, said Fred, give a shout to Charlie. Up comes Charlie from the floor below. After straining, heaving and complaining, we was getting nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea and Charlie had a think and he thought we ought to take off all the andals and the things were all the candles. But it did no good, well I never thought it would. Right, said Fred, have to take the feed off to get them feed off, wouldn't take a moan. Took its feed off, even with the seed off, should have got it somewhere, but no. So Fred said, let's have another cup of tea, and we said, right <clears throat> Right, said Fred, have to take the door off, need more space to shift the so-and-so. Had bad twinges, taking off the hinges, and it got us nowhere, and so... We had a cup of tea, and right, said Fred, have to take the wall down, that there wall is gonna have to go. Took the wall down, even with it all down, we was getting nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea, and Charlie had a think, and he said, look, Fred, I've got a sort of feeling, if we remove the ceiling... With a rope or two we can drop the blighter through. All right, said Fred, climbing up a ladder with his crowbar gave a mighty blow. Was he in trouble, half a ton of rubble, landed on the top of his dome. So Charlie and me had another cup of tea and then we went home. The trouble with Fred is he's too hasty. Now you never get nowhere if you're too hasty.